Welcome Cancer, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of July the 15th to the 22nd, 2019. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing to them. Please be sure to click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these are out on open air for you to view on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single cancer out on the planet. But if some of it does, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right-hand corner of this video, and it will whisk, whisk you right into my website where you'll see the services that I offer. All the other information is posted below. Okay, my beautiful Cancers, let's see what we have here for the week of July the 15th. Well, your all of our energy, my friends, is the Five of Water in the Angel Tarot, but it is the Five of Cups in the traditional, and I'm using the, uh, the Hanson and Roberts deck today. Now, this is telling me that you shouldn't hang on to things that you've lost. Let them go because they will be replaced with other things. You know, she's sitting there, she's concerned about the cups she's got, and she's looking at the ones that she didn't get. You know what? Don't cry over spilt milk. All you need to do is stop thinking that things are not turning out the way you'd hope. And you're not seeing the positive in a situation, and that's what we call crying over spilt milk. So you're all of our energy this week is to tell yourself, okay, when one door closes, another door opens. When you lose something, you will something else will come in its place. Okay, Three of Earth, which is the Three of Pentacles. So it's the Three of Earth in Angel Tarot, and it's the Three of Pentacles in Traditional Tarot. And this is telling me that you're going to be collaborating with others. You're going to put it, be putting other minds together to come together with you and to impart your wisdom with their wisdom and so on. This is about communication. This is about you stepping up and realizing that you have other people there in your end of the ring that can add to your resume, add to your your uh, your wisdom, okay, your book of knowledge. This is all about communication and being creative and being able to be expressive with others. I do see that you're going to be able to stand up on your podium and you're going to be getting recognition, recognized for your creativity, your high quality work that you put out there, and people realize you're a team player. And this is working with a team, being amongst other people, and being together to collaborate and communicate. Also, it has to do with maybe some of you moving and joining a firm, going to work with a team of people. Perhaps some of you are going to join a sports team. Regardless, you are a good team player, and you're going to get recognized for that. So perhaps you're getting uh, you know, a raise at your place of employment, or you're getting an advancement, or you may be getting hired uh, or chosen to be on a sports team because they know you're really good at listening and getting along. Okay, crowning your week, you've been given a life experience, which unfortunately is the tower, but I'm never afraid of the tower, and I tell people that. The tower is all about building a new foundation. It's all about being able to step up, learn from our lessons, and yeah, it shook us to our core. Sometimes it's something, an incident, or something that happened all of a sudden, and it blindsided us and rocked us to the core. But, and it was a significant life event, but it also was a revelation that led us to change. This is leading you to change in a better direction. Learning from the situation, looking back hindsight and saying, mm-hmm, yeah, why didn't I see this coming? I didn't see it. I was blind to love or I was, you know, I didn't, didn't want to see it or I ignored it and I made excuses for the bad behavior or whatever the situation was that happened. Perhaps someone walked away from you suddenly. Perhaps someone broke up with you suddenly. Perhaps something happened and you lost your job suddenly. But now it's time to embrace the change. You're building on a new foundation, Cancer, and you're going to be able to spread your wings now and go in a new direction, a better direction. You know, at the time, it throws you right off your base, and you don't know which way to look, and you think, wow, what do I do now? But you know what? You're able to do that because you're a team player. You've, you've, you've looked into it. You've checked things out. You've been looking on the Internet. Perhaps you've been networking. Perhaps you've been speaking to friends and people how to move forward with your life, and you've been cooperating and communicating. That's what this is about. That's what this week is all about, <clears throat> realizing that your losses 
perhaps we're again, at the end of the day, you're going to be re rebuilding a new foundation. You're going to be moving on in a new direction. You're going to have cups to fill again. It's not over. It didn't work out. A situation that didn't turn out the way that you'd hoped. It could have been a relationship here. But now you're moving on. And you know that tower moment happened. But you're building a new foundation. And you know what? Sometimes these are blessings in disguise. We don't realize until months and months later. And we look in the mirror and we go, aha, uh -huh, why didn't I see that coming? Aha, uh -huh, why didn't I suspect that was happening? Okay, end of the week, Ace of Swords, better known as the Ace of Air in the Angel Tarot. And this is telling me that you're going to be able to see the truth in a situation, okay? Something's going to come into you, you know? Uh, the, truth is, the truth is going to come through, okay? The truth is going to save you, basically. And this is, you know, it could have to do with this situation here, the tower moment and your cups, you know, something happening in your life all of a sudden. And now you look back and you go, mm-hmm, like I said, now I can understand why this happened. I should have seen it sooner and so on. So, but you're going to get new, some new ideas because you're going in a new direction now. You're going to be able to move forward and there'll be new ideas and inspirations that are going to keep you moving forward with the flow. Seeing the truth in this situation may have been challenging in the beginning or, you know, uh, maybe challenging coming into some of you, but know that you will be able to move forward. This is, you know, this is the hand of justice coming down here saying, you know what? I'm moving on. I'm moving on in a new direction and a better direction. Coming in with your first Lennerman Oracle message, and this is the clock, and time stands still for no man. But it shows me that, you know what, things are going to happen, but not quickly. Uh, this tower moment did happen, but you know what, you've got time on your side now. You're able to do things at your own speed. You've got, you've got time to move on in the new direction you want to go and plan that. Here is your foundation, your home. Four. Four is a beautiful number. It's all about being realistic and thinking and being practical and self-reliant. It's about, you know, a situation that you can turn to your advantage now. That's what fours mean. Okay, fours mean that in any suits, the number four in when we read our tarot. So this is the home foundation. I do see a firm foundation here. I do see the four directions are going to come in and be fulfilled. I do see that you're going to see happiness and fulfillment again. It's taking time, but you have all the time to work on that and make it happen. You're going to be able to give birth to your dreams again, my friends. Okay, this is the, the card of giving birth to stork. Some of you may be actually having a new addition come into your family, or you may be giving birth yourself. But for others, I do see it that you are going to be giving birth to your dreams. You're going to be able to give birth to your goals and your passions and lean into your, into your abundance and filling your cups again. You're going to be moving forward. So some of you have had to deal with this shock of this, you know, this tower moment. Uh, you know, you felt that loss. You, things didn't turn out the way you wanted them to. And, you, and you know, you were set back there for a while. But now you, you realize this is crying over spilt milk and you're moving on. You're getting together with other people that are helping you move on. You've got a shoulder there to lean into, and you're learning and rebuilding a new foundation here. And now you're going to see that, you know what, the truth came out, and the truth is going to be what saves you to move forward. You've got time on your hands here to move forward. You're going to be happy in your home life again. Your foundation, your base is going to be firm again. And you know what? You're going to be able to turn this situation to your advantage. You're going to be able to give birth to your dreams again. And like I said, sometimes these tower moments are blessings in disguise. Now, Cancer, let's see what we got here for our beautiful, beautiful oracle message. And this is from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And these are a new deck that I got. I absolutely love them and the graphics on them. And you got flexible. Well, this shows me that you're going to be your team player. So obviously, that's what it means. You know, teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's most important in your life. So a tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now, willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but it's so, it's so an open mind. Stay curious. Stay open. Stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you, too. And also when it comes to relationships for some of you. In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity. 
It's what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signify that you have met someone new, okay, who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So this is all about letting go, not being so rigid. Be more flexible. You'll be happy and that you've made this choice. Now, in reference to prosperity, even when you have a clear vision of how you're going to manifest something, what it will look like, will you, who will share it, and what will then be available to you. You still need to relax and open up to other possibilities. Spirit may have much better plans for you. It could be a job you hadn't thought of, a new source of money, or some other opportunity that eluded your imagination. So be flexible and remind yourself, this is, there is something better. This is something better. Manifest it for me now. Then be willing to befriend a little and bend a little. Enjoy the miraculous results, my friends. So be flexible. This is all about change. We talked about this here. Change coming in, moving forward, being able to give birth to your plans, being, you know, compromises sometimes, being, being the team player that you are allows you to cooperate. Now, your final card from a beautiful, and it's a universal love healing oracle deck that a very good friend of mine gave me. And I am using these for the first time, and I absolutely love them. And I texted her today to thank her for her lovely, thoughtful gift. And this is, you know, an old idea resurfaces. The moon is in alignment with your heavenly star. Conditions are now right for something you had put aside. Nature and nurture this idea into being. With love and positive energy, you will achieve positive results. A majestic oak tree is rooted in fertile soil. It has grown strong and tall. Its branches reach out to the sky, nourished by the light of a spiritual moon. Ground your idea in fruitful soil. Care for it, and it will grow strong. This card may also represent a partnership of some kind, the marriage of heaven and earth, a physical or spiritual connection, a combined effort, or a sacred union through which something new is born. We came up with that card. That's right there, okay? And a combined effort. We talked about being a team, a team leader here, a team player. <clears throat> the tree has grown strong with thanks to the sun, the rain, and the soil, and now it provides a home, a resting place, shade and air to others, giving and receiving in nature's way. So, this is all about, we talked about being flexible like the tree, being able to bend, okay, being su supple, not being rigid, not being, not standing there and digging your heels in when, when, when progress is in your, is coming down the pipe for you. So it's also about grounding your ideas in, a, in, in the fruitful soil. Beautiful, beautiful messages here, my Cancers. Well, my beautiful Cancers, I do wish you an amazing week here. This is interesting, very interesting uh, week that you have here. Recapping, you know, don't cry over spilt milk. Something will come in and you will realize here that once you get together with other people and you, you get together with this team, you're going to realize that you should have moved on and those cups will be filled. You're rebuilding a new foundation here with that tower moment that shook you. It could have been a relationship or a job that left all of a sudden, and you're cutting through it. You're able now to get this gift of the Ace of Swords and see the truth. The truth is known, justice is served, time is on your hand. You're going to have a very, very good foundation again in your home life, and you're going to be able to give birth to your dreams. Don't be so flex or don't be so rigid. Be flexible. Allow the bend and and uh, don't push things or force things. And know that you have this ability to be strong and rooted like the moon tree. See you soon. And always remember, my beautiful Cancers, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So, Cancers, surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and your happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls. See you soon. And know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you.